Got six new uh, Asian forest scorpions. Uh, it should be two males and four females. That female there is already really pregnant. You can see how the scales are spaced apart on the back. But uh, I'm going to go put them into their cage. And with these guys, they don't really sting all that much, so you usually can just scoop them up. But uh, yeah, there's three of them there. Put them into their new cage. This is a 30 gallon uh, long tank. Of course, now they want to run up my arm. But uh, I'll move them all over. But yeah, these are a really calm species of scorpion. See how big their claws are, which that's how they do everything, is just with their claws, not really their stinger. So their tails don't don't go up all that much unless you really make them mad. Yeah, I've handled a lot of these at work and I've never been stung by one. Never been close to stung by one of these guys. Yeah, I got six of them and then I'm going to separate the pregnant female out. Put her in her own cage until she gives birth. So this is not even 30 seconds later. Uh, that is a male and uh, I assume a female that is trying to breed. The male is trying to breed. So what should happen is the male is going to pull her over to this flat rock and then they'll dance around and that's how they breed. But uh, it seems to be going pretty well. So right now they are searching for a flat surface because the male drops the sperm down and he has to pull the female over it to pick it up. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh. It's going bad. Oh, okay. New mail. It's all, it's all going wrong. <laughs> so, that new male was trying to grab a hold of the female too and breed with her. Uh, I think I only got two males. And now the males are fighting over the female. Or fighting the female, one or the other. Grab this one that came in and put it over here. And there is still one right behind the female. And this one is running back. Alright. I might lift that piece of wood up so they can get over to this. Otherwise they're just gonna keep dancing around, I think. In maybe five minutes, they're still dancing around. So they walked away, and then I moved the rock to where they were, and uh, they have made it to the rock. I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but uh, the male's supposed to lay something down then. Drag the female over to it. Filming this on my phone, but uh, the female is right above, it's called a spermatophore. You can kind of see it there. That uh, branch that's coming up, yeah, there. That's what the male is pulling her over to. 
So it looks like a successful breeding then. Did not film it. Um, the male pulled her up above it and then she slid back onto it and uh, they immediately broke apart. And uh, it did go in her, so. Looks like they are fighting now. So, uh, yeah, there was that little white stick. So, uh, I guess that was a successful breeding attempt then. Seemed to be. Now they're not happy. Although the male might try again. This here is the pregnant female. You can see how stretched out her belly is, where the scales on her back are coming apart. So she is probably full of babies. And then in another few weeks, she'll uh, give birth to them all alive, and then she'll raise them up and 